hey mall future bad agents welcome back to the channel frenzy pool and it's out it's out finally the ghost rider uniform is here for 1050 crystals and yeah we're gonna review the uniform don't have your hopes high for this because you're going to see something different that you don't expect normally from mff because all the uniforms that they have been releasing are pretty dope uh, the last week's uniform for moon knight what a uniform what a uniform is this it's a huge upgrade and he has become the combat meta but in this video we're gonna talk about this one the king of hell ghost rider uniform so i got it and i did a couple of runs with it and i don't know there is a lot of issues with this uniform uh yeah the rank is a thousand because i have built him up really well because i expected the tier 3 for him also coming up together but nothing as that nothing of the tier 3 has been mentioned i don't know what mfo was planning uh no mid month tier 3 i don't know so uh the gears are not complete there are like two slots left but still with this we can i can show you guys what we can do uh, iso 8 is a power of angry hulk custom gear it's just a normal fire damage obelisk almost 40 percent with a 140 proc okay and i uh, yes i made the uniform to mythic and here are the uniform options the first one is human torch the future foundation uniform second one is crescent lifestyle series another waste uniform and it's a paywall uniform paywall character crescent and then ignore defense yeah, i got that from the captain america hydra supreme most of them will be having the uniform pretty good one and the fourth one is the white fox lifestyle series another good uniform and the fifth one is also another paywall uniform namers five so you have like two paywalls and this is like a crystal wall because it's a crystal character uh yeah it's almost an expensive uniform options list also the uniform is a complete rework for ghost rider because he has been totally in the base in the game it was useless to use this character in any of the game modes uh, but with this uniform yeah we can do a bit of damage okay the main skills are the fifth skill i start off with the fifth skill and then go into the fourth skill uh which is also a burn damage and then the third one is the one having that single proc of the damage 250 percent for one attack and removes the buff and everything okay uh penetration invincibility really good skill so that's how i've been going five four and three but i don't know i just want to shift it between five and three and check it out actually if you have a proc obelisk you're getting a double proc from that uh skill and also third skill with the proc so we'll begin the world was ultimate with the call obsidian stage 60 uh yeah he has a little bit defense high so we'll just check him out and i'm going in with strikers and we need anti-venom here because anti-venom is the only way he can survive there is no heal for the king of hell <laughs> i don't know even moon knight got the best of the reworks with the heal uh the latest part the latest spider scarlet spider also is a good character with the heal really insane damage also but uh, this uniform, I don't know why why Net Marvel did this. Here we go, we open up with the fifth skill. And we have this fourth skill that you can proc and I missed the proc. Maybe the third skill can get us. The skills got guard broken. Go all again. Still late proc and we did not do enough damage. is really bad the damage is bad the proc is coming in so late oh this the survivability is only because of anti-venom's blobs yeah yeah that's what i'm talking about proc at the beginning
Ah, uh, so more than a minute. That's pretty bad. So it's 60 and I don't know. Now where Ghost Rider is going to be more effective is in the, of course the elemental stage Ebony Maw. We'll take him into stage 6 of Ebony Maw. Shift that uh, leadership to Nick. We'll also go with uh, the leadership of you know, fire damage. Rider shifting into him. And yeah, this is what I was talking about. Look at that. Put in the third skill and the third skill with the self proc. 12 bars just like that. Oh, went into ivory. But not bad. Movement is pretty slow guys, it is slow. We can proc, yes we did. Iframe is on the fourth skill and yeah that does the job. It does it. Here we go again, fourth skill, shifting into the fifth. I got the proc with the fifth skill, so... And yeah, that's the third skill doing the damage. <laughs> really bad. Really bad losing all the proc. Again, I got the proc on the fifth skill itself. Uh, the third skill is really good. The third skill is really good, which has the bind. And I don't think I'm gonna make it finish off the first phase. Yeah, that's it. So, this is what I'm talking about. The survivability is so nonsense. Just do one last run with the uh, fire damage leadership. So we get also a team bonus because of that. Spirit of Vengeance. Red Hulks. I think this may make a difference. Well, elemental. Here we go. Do the fifth. Uh, yeah, the is picking up. And the third skill also did some damage. The skill cooldown in my build is really low. It's taking a long time for the skills to load up. Okay, let's be safe. Okay, don't die in here. Okay, that's bad. That is really bad. That is really bad because... <laughs> they could have added a single skill with a recovery of you know 30 percent of just 30 percent of hp that's what's required like what moon knight is having here uh he gets he has a 30 percent of recovery when he's using fifth skill luna punishment the tier to passive related skill but he gets the survivability what we need even uh here it is 15 percent of recovery for Scarlet Spider, but Scarlet Spider is another on another level with the damage also. And okay, I am capped on the cooldown duration, and still the skills are taking a lot of. I have twenty three thousand of energy attack. The damage is good. The damage is good. If I equip a CDP, is going to be way better. Well, I did take him into some PVP action, and it was pretty bad. So I don't want to show you guys the footage for that. It was pretty bad. Okay. I thought he could really tackle everybody with the third skill because of uh, the penetration and the new invincibility, everything coming into action, and of course that damage to 50% damage. Uh, actually, that 250% of damage applies. Uh, following effect uh, when activation rate is when attacking a super villain type to self. 
it's, it's like a sub it's like a sub acquires the following effect the sub of that is the increased damage 250 for one attack so for super villains it's going to be the really effective one uh i don't know if one shots are going to work out with him because i have to try a lot a little more with this guy that's how i can tell you guys if he is capable of doing one shots because of those because of that third skill and i'm not pretty happy about the uniform compared to moon knights this is not this is not the best this is not really the best and uh, the doubts about him getting a tier 3 also i don't know i don't know what net marble is planning for him hold on to your crystals for now before you get this uniform and also the uniform sale is going on every uniform is for sale right now but i would recommend you guys to wait for the black friday unless you want some important uniforms for a character to be really good like the moon knight one uh, uh some of these good uniforms you can get it but for other other important stuff you can keep those uniforms for later for the black friday so i'll be seeing you guys soon again with more stuff from all feature files stay tuned to the channel and take care agents